Hi. Uh, so in the previous video, I had discussed uh, about the electronic fan regulator. Uh, that uh, how the circuit works. Uh, as uh, from the this figure, we can see that our load is here. Like it may be a bulb or, or a fan, and we have RC network here, and we have a diac and triac. So in the previous video, I have uh, discussed the working principle of this circuit. Like if we have a 220 volt RMS here at the input, then by changing the time constant of this RC network, we can trigger the diac and triac at such time instant that we can get a clipped sinusoidal voltage, which means like if I apply the sinusoidal voltage here, then the output can be in of this form so if the RMS value is 220 volt at the input side then across the load we will get a value small than 220 volt RMS across the load which means we can control the speed or brightness of a bulb so uh, in today's video I will discuss about the simulation in MATLAB as uh, on YouTube, uh, I haven't seen any vid in any video about the simulation of electronic fan regulator in MATLAB that uh, fully explain the waveform of the circuit and its explanation. So coming towards the uh, MATLAB simulation, uh, the MATLAB simulation uh, here uh, I have already uh, already. Uh, simulated the circuit uh, here we have a 220 volt RMS uh, of uh, our load is here that may be a fan or bulb uh, we have a variable resistor and a fixed RC network uh, in MATLAB uh, there is no triac and triac as a component so uh, to make uh, a triac as you know that triac is nothing but just two anti-parallel connected thyristors so uh, i have connected two thyristor anti-parallel and uh, to make a diac as we know that diac and triac are same but in triac there is a trigger signal or getting signal and in diac there is no getting sig signal is it works on the principle of breakdown voltage so to make the uh, diac i have just connected two uh, anti parallel uh, diodes now that have no getting signal so it acts like a diac and two thyristor are connected anti parallel that acts like a triac so uh, here the connection is uh, we have to connect uh, the circuit like this uh, i have taken a voltage measurement probe here and here so uh, like if all uh, the thing here is uh, the in MATLAB we can we cannot connect this point directly to the gate uh, or this point directly to the gate because uh, here there is no option for such uh, point connection so we used a voltage probe here and here so for this uh, type like uh, as we know that positive signal will be allowed through this uh, diode and uh, and through this thyristor and negative signal will be allowed to through this diac and through this triac so to connect the signals i have used a voltage measurement block uh, whose positive point is connected to this point and whose negative point is connected to ground and the voltage output uh, the output of the voltage measurement block is connected to the gate of this trial thyristor similarly uh, for the negative cycle um, the the voltage measurement block the positive is connected to the ground and the negative is connected to this thyristor and the output of this voltage measurement block is connected to the gate of this thyristor so you should connect your circuit in in this way and you will get a uh, uh, tripped or you can say a clipped a sine a clipped sine wave at the output the purpose of variable resistor here is to by changing the resistance of this variable resistor we can change the uh, rc time constant or the time at which uh, the voltage will rise at such a value that the breakdown of this di diac will occur uh, and the thyristor will get a signal which will clip our sinusoidal voltage so uh, first uh, i will select this uh, variable resistor uh, as a uh, hundred 
kilo ohm so by uh, decreasing this value which means uh, the uh, time constant will decrease or the the time of this capacitor to charge to such a value that the breakdown will occur will decrease as this time decreases we will get uh, uh, nearly sinusoidal voltage wave form at the output uh, or load so by running the simulation uh, and observing the out voltage across the bulb which is in the form of this we can clearly see the output voltage here so if i increase the value uh, to let's suppose uh, it's uh, 200 uh, 200 kilo ohm and then by running the simulation uh, now we will see that uh, as the time constant uh, by increasing this resistance we will change overall time the capacitor charging time so uh, we will get uh, a small voltage is here or we will get a clipped sinusoidal voltage so uh, as we see that uh, by increasing the resistance we are the this point is clipping more and more so i will increase the resistance to let's say uh, 5 kilo, uh, 500 kilo ohm uh, to see the effects um, easily so uh, by look, looking at the uh, output waveform this waveform is across the load so by looking at the waveform we are we see that the pure sinusoidal waveform is clipped here and here so uh, let uh, me to in increase the value to let's suppose uh, 800 kilo ohm and then by running the simulation again and uh, we will see that uh, okay the output waveform is disturbed more and uh, we see that if uh, uh, if i connected the input waveform here and uh, running the simulation so we will compare the input waveform that is 220 volt rms and the voltage across the load so by running the simulation and observing the input and output signal so uh, here the blue waveform shows the input voltage that have a peak value of 311 volt and uh, the yellow waveform shows the voltage across the load so this portion of waveform and this portion of the input waveform is clipped by the thyristor and the res uh, by the uh, fan regulator circuits so overall the load will see a low voltages uh, so we can control the speed of the fan or you can say the brightness of a bulb so uh, here the purpose of this resistor was to like let's suppose if this resistor is a zero ohm so we will have some resistor here to limit the current in the circuit uh, in the uh, previous video i have explained all the working principle uh, of the circuit like uh, here i have explained all the working principle like how this circuit work how this rc network charges and trigger the diac and triac and our output waveform like how we can change the output waveform by changing this variable resistor so here in this simulation in the MATLAB simulation we can easily see by increasing this resistance we can uh, increase or decrease the output waveform and uh, we can clearly see, see from the simulation like let's suppose if I increase this resistance to uh, about a thousand uh, kilo ohm or you can say one mega ohms and uh, see the re output waveform then we uh, we can observe that by increasing that resistor we are getting low and low voltages across the output so we can easily uh, change the speed of the fan or the bulb so thank you for watching